Hey, what's going on, fam? I read a story today, uh, a brief story in a book, uh, Radical by David Platt, that I wanted to share with you guys and then leave you with a question. Um, so this comes um, in the chapter called Living When Dying is Gain. Let me read this for you really briefly. I met a Christian brother from the Batak tribe of northern Sumatra in Indonesia. He told me the story of how his tribe had come to know Christ. Years ago, a missionary couple had come to his village to share the gospel. The tribe at the time was 100% Muslim. Talk about sheep in the middle of wolves. The tribal leaders captured this missionary couple, then murdered and cannibalized them. Years later, another missionary came to their tribe and again began sharing the gospel. The tribal leaders recognized that the story he had told was exactly what the former couple had shared. This time, they decided to listen. After they listened, they believed. Within a short time, the entire tribe was converted to Christ. This believer told me that today there are more than 3 million Christians among the Batak tribe of northern Sumatra. When I first heard this story, the immediate questions that came to mind were, would I be willing for my wife and for me to be the, that first missionary couple? Would I be willing to be killed and cannibalized so that those who come after me would see people come to Christ? And the question I think that that posed for me as well is like, what level am I willing to sacrifice? You know, in, in a, a lot of our, you know, local American context, the, the sacrifices that God's calling us to um, aren't as extreme as what we're seeing here. But to what level am I willing to sacrifice, you know, uh, financially or with my time or with my service to others, with my, my charity, with, with the, the heart of compassion I have, have for folks and, and even just sitting and, and listening. Uh, to, like what, what level of sacrifice am I willing to make to, to get out of my own comfort zone so that God would use that in order to reach people for the gospel? And David Platt, you know, he asked, would he be willing to be that first couple that dies for the gospel. And I, and I, I wonder the same thing about myself, but I even wonder, would I be willing to be that, that second guy? Like the first couple, like they're literally just, they're just going and they don't know what's going to happen. But guess what? That second guy, like you, I got to imagine, like he knew death was pretty likely because the, the couple that went before him, they died. So like he's going there in the face of the knowledge that death is probably likely, but he's going in obedience to God. He's only going because he's being sent by God. So I guess the question for each of us is, where is God sending us? And are we listening? Are we responding to that call? Even in the, the unknowable future, even in the face of what could be you know, insurmountable odds in human perspective, but we know that no one can stop God. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? No one can. So wherever God's leading you, whether it be to, to go across the, the, uh, the cubicles to speak to that, that coworker of yours, whether, whether it be to, to participate in, in, in any offering that he's asking you to be, whether it be to, to give some extra time to the friend, uh, the neighbor in your, your community, or to, to get involved in serving, or, or whatever, God's, whatever God's calling you to. Are you being obedient? Are you hearing and responding? Because... God desires to use you. Whatever the thing he's asking you to do, he's asking you because he wants to use you towards his ultimate mission of saving his people. All right? He's going to deliver his folks. The question is, are you going to be a part of it? All right? Peace out. Have a great day. Happy Monday.